Hello folks and welcome to another instalment on my channel Second Chance Gambling Addiction Mental Health and Addiction in general um, This instalment is going to be about 5 ways you can help yourself to stop gambling um, But before I jump into that I do want to thank everyone for all the likes, the comments, the subscribes, the shares It's all helping the videos get out there and hopefully in front of people who really need them and benefit from them um, but yeah thank you it's been a, a great response and great feedback um, so I really mean it thank you very much um, so yeah back into this video um, the five things I would do or what I recommend to to stop gambling um, I think we've reached a stage now if you you're perhaps looking at this video and thinking I really do need to stop is we're, we're, we've got a level of honesty where we think we might think yeah I need to stop but not not full stop sort of thing I'm gonna stop for a, a small amount of time but I'm not gonna do things to break the cycle where I can gamble again um, in 10 days or in the future um, and that's why I think it's important to put the following steps in place to break that cycle. So, number one is honesty. As I've just said, be honest with yourself. Be honest with a family member, a good friend. Um, if you've got someone like that we can confide in, um, it's not about being judged. You're not the only one to suffer at the hands of gambling. Um, for whatever reason you gamble, Maybe it started out as enjoyment, but over time you've started to gamble more and more. Um, you, you're having a negative impact on your finances, your family's finances. You're borrowing money from friends, family. You're taking payday loans, loans in general. Um, and you're spending a whole lot of time gambling. And you feel now that, yeah, it's it's time to stop. and. That, that's about being honest with yourself. If you can confide, like I said, in a family member or a good friend, they're gonna help you with this. They really are going to be able to help you with this because as I will come on to, there's things they can do um, to break the cycle um, that you're in at the moment because while ever we've got the cycle going round in circles where we've got opportunity to gamble, so we've got funds, we've got access to gambling whether that's casino bookmakers or at the moment during lockdown online while well, we've got time on his hands again lockdown you've got time more time um, generally people have got more time on their hands and whatever you've got those three alone never mind others it's particularly dangerous and we need to break that cycle so honesty is the number one um, thing just you know, it doesn't have to be a full art to art. You can just say, look, I'm struggling with gambling, um, but I'll come on to the steps that they can help you put in place next, which is <clears throat> the second thing you can do is, is money. The limiting of access to money or stopping access to money, even if it's just for a two month period, three month period, just to break that cycle is something that's, in my opinion, imperative, it's, it's vital. Um, to help you stop um, if you have got that good friend or if you have got that family member who can look after your money um, be it have the wages or funds whatever you get benefits whatever transferred into their account that's a great step that is fantastic because there's almost when you've reached this point nothing worse than having a large amount of money sat in your bank with access to gambling websites, casinos, bookmakers, and it's so easy to go and withdraw or go and make a deposit. If it goes into their account, the next step I would say on that is if you have got that person who you can turn to to do that for you, be it your partner, be it your family member, be it your, um, your friend, then any bills that you're gonna need money for, if you can tell them their bills amount and show them so they know like if you need £40 for a bill and you're asking them for £70 to put in to cover that bill 
you've got £30 worth of opportunity to gamble there. So if you can share the financials with that person, hopefully you've got that person in your life who is able to do that, then they are able through your decision to confide in them, help you to stop gambling and break the cycle. So like I said, if you need some money for shopping, bills, or any other things that's coming out of the bank, you can show them, you can tell them, right, can you transfer me back 70 pound for that bill? They know it's 70 pounds. They're gonna put the money in, bills are still getting paid. What I'm trying to get at is the surplus amount of money that you've got in your bank or any amount of money that you doesn't need to be laying around in your bank or in cash is a good thing if you can get almost get rid of that even if like i said it's for a short period of time just while you get some sort of breakage in that cycle because it's limiting your chances limiting your opportunity and along with that i would if it's someone you really really trust let them change your online banking details let them have a password for the paypal or skrill account or whichever account you deposit online to the bookmakers online with or the casinos online let them have the passwords um, to them paypal and things because it's one thing giving them access to your wages and having them transfer you small amounts to to get by but it's another thing still having a bank account or a paypal where you can get loans and get funds that way to still gamble with so if, if they've took out that option to deposit then it again it limits the chances you've got to gamble so um if we go on to the next step i would go to gambling companies that you you know you might be part of labbrooks party casino whichever um online sites that you're part of or you know when it's not locked down the bookmakers casinos look at self-exclusion vital um and the number one i recommend for online especially is go on gamstop um go on gamstop not to be confused with gamban gamban's a software that stops you going on the websites but go to gamstop you know there's there's so much tools out there but this is the one that i feel really strongly that will help you if you're particularly bad online with gambling um so you enter your details you enter your date of birth your email address your address and what that does is when the companies will work with gamstop which are pretty much most of the reputable ones in in the uk certainly um when you go to them websites to set up an account they will block once you've signed up to black uh, gamstop for five years or whatever you choose they will block you opening a new account um because let's be fair if you're self excluded from one casino or one betting website it's easy to open another they're putting big flashy offers out there deposit this deposit 10 pound play with 50 it's so easy to open another if you go through gamstop it stops you opening another account up with any other party casino you know casino websites or sports betting websites it's a great tool and it's one that's worked for me especially um, the other thing I would add on that is uh, um, Gamstop is a tool to stop gambling online if you want to gamble in bookmakers but again at the minute they're closed if you want to stop gambling in bookmakers I would fill out the self exclusion forms um, there is a central office that you can do that with and all um, that, that will really help because again it's cutting access it's cutting the cycle that you're going in it's limiting the opportunities to gamble um, and same with the casinos um, if you don't trust yourself and believe me I don't say this easily but or, or to judge or anything but if you feel that you may gamble in someone else's name like your your missus or your husband sign them up to gamstop to speak to them about it say look I'm making an effort to stop gambling you can always just put it across to that it's helping you you know if they are unable to sign up to um, websites as well um, you're not able to gamble in their name 
um, and believe me, if you're really at the 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 if you're really being consumed by this addiction to the point where you'll do anything for a gamble, gambling in someone else's name uh, on someone else's account, it's it's not too far away from uh, reality. You know, it, it does happen, and it I certainly did it. Um, so yeah, signing up in your partner's name is another good tool that you can do. Um, the the next one. I would do is look at Gamcare, look at, well in the UK anyway, look at Gamcare, look at Gamblers Anonymous, um, there's others out there, get help, speak, speak to professionals in Gamcare counselling, they'll put you in touch with the relevant um, counsellors that can help you with this, you know, you'll have, alright you might have a small waiting list or um, you'll be offered online counselling. Take it. Take any help that you can where you're in a position to just speak. Speak about how it's consumed you. Speak about how it's it's impacting on your life. Um, get in touch with Gamblers Anonymous because Gamblers Anonymous, you've got the option of online meetings or, or in person. Even in lockdown, um, there is still meetings in person. Um, being held and although it's limited you know it's still available there um, it's not for everyone standing in a room um, is the typical stereotypical um, thought that goes with it you stand up in front of everyone you tell your story it's not like that um, my experience I've been to many meetings around the country is that you're welcome everyone's there for one reason and that's to stop gambling you know We've all done things. Some may have not done as bad as you. Some will have done worse than you. You're not going to be judged. You're there. You'll get offered to, you know, if you want to tell your story in front of the group or in a private setting with just one or two members. Um, and you'll be welcomed in with open arms. And the advice you will receive in that room, be it online or be it in person, is honestly, it's second to none and it really works. Um, I'm two years in now through going to Gallons Anonymous and getting all the advice and putting it into place. Um, I can't recommend it enough. So Gallons Anonymous website, pick a meeting up in your local area, give them a contact and um, get the ball rolling. That's that's something I would really think about doing. Um, but lastly, whilst you are putting these measures in place, um, especially if you are spending a lot of time gambling, I would really think about what you can do to fill the void of the time that you've spent gambling. So if you've got time on your hands and you're using that to gamble at the moment, through putting steps in place to stop gambling, it's going to break that cycle and hopefully keep you away from gambling. And I believe it's important then to sort of further reinforce them barriers by filling your time because it's it's almost surprising how much time we do spend gambling when we reach this point um, so what I would recommend is if you was gambling for two or three hours a night you're gonna you're gonna straight away feel a, a void you're gonna feel as though you've got nothing to do in that time and the easiest thing to do if you perhaps put one or two barriers in place but you've still got access is to think about gambling again because the thoughts will be there so I would maybe con consider starting an online course on something um, even just get into a series on Netflix or or just do something you enjoy maybe exercising within the house out of the house um, I'm trying to think during lockdown what you know sort of thing that you can be doing um, and if you've got family, just spend more time with the family, but keep yourself busy as much as you can because, like I said, when you've got time on your hands, when you've still got some access, hopefully you will limit all access, but if you've still got some, it's not going to be too long with time on your hands before you start thinking about gambling. And again, that, that's dangerous because that allows the cycle to come back in. Um, because it, it will be sat on your shoulder saying, you know gamble and you need to I believe 
fill that void um, and, and that, that's something I really do think can benefit people fill the time I personally did it with online gaming and before this I thought online people game online are just you know benefit frauds who just know what better to do but honestly I found a world of good through an esports um, team that I joined up with who support with mental health um, they support with addiction and there's people in there with PTSD and things and I got to know a lot a lot of people online gaming um, that's how I did it myself and it wasn't just about going and playing a game it was about going on and talking to people talking to people who've got mental health issues or, or maybe just talking about the day or just talking about whatever game football or whatever um, but yeah, I, I found um, help with that with uh, RUFC Esports, Rotherham United Esports. Um, they were really beneficial for me and there's others out there. So that's something you could do to f fill your time. But yeah, I believe if you put these steps in place or take something from these, what I've discussed, it really can be beneficial to now hopefully break the cycle as I keep mentioning that word so often that phrase break the cycle because while ever you're doing what you're doing at the moment it's it's not working if you if you if you're in a position where you've tried to stop before but now it's got to the stage where you're starting to have suicidal thoughts you're starting to really go under financially you're really starting to withdraw from family and doing things it's going to end up in a really bad place Put these steps in place, put other steps that you learn along the way in place and I wish you all the best of luck. Um, if you want to help this video, get in front of people who need it. As I said at the beginning, please like, please subscribe, please comment and share. It all helps the YouTube algorithm go around and hopefully, like I said, reach people who really, really need it at this moment in time. At the very minimum, I hope these videos will ensure that people watching them don't feel alone because trust me I've been through addiction, gambling addiction, alcohol addiction, mental health problems, many more have, you're not alone. Um, thank you for taking the time to watch this and uh, hopefully you can get something from it. I'll uh, see you on the next one. Cheers.